This is 24-year-old sales executive Will. I wouldn't say I'm posh, but I, well, I know I probably am. How are you? Hello there. Morning, Morning. how are you? You okay? Yeah. Uh, Will. Will's looking for a girl who shares his passion for country life. Lovely tweet jacket. Uh, it's not something that we see a lot in France. And everything that goes with it. Ah, oh, bloody love tweed. Lovely. There you go. Follow me. I'm glad that they stopped using urine to make it, though. As in, yeah, you don't really want a jacket that someone's pissed on. Well, well actually, I've left my jacket in some dodgy places, so you never know what someone might have done. Hello, chap. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Do you have any proper beer? Do I have any proper beer? Uh, any bitters? Campbell, no. Oh, God, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I might as well go for a... Yeah, let's start with a Guinness. Guinness, yeah. Sure. Go strong. Why not? Pints of, yes? Uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, half pints. Amateur ass. Obviously, some people who meet me, they think I sound like a pompous ass, um, which is fair enough. But I try and sort of persuade them that I'm not... I would hope that people like me. I don't know why not. I'm a bloody nice bloke. So how long have you been single? How long? Um, I have been single pretty much my entire life. Right. Tell me about your ideal woman. Now, now we're talking. I really like brunettes. Petite brunettes. I want them to have a love for the countryside. And I like a girl who drinks a pint of beer. Yeah, that's somebody I could marry. Marriage material. My name is Fran, I'm 22, and I've been single for my whole life. Fellow country-loving Fran spent her formative years in a Gloucestershire boarding school. I went to an all-girls school, so I wasn't used to seeing them. They were like aliens. That's probably why I've been single for so long. I have been on four dates with someone. That's the closest I've ever come to a serious relationship. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? OK, good, thank you. And my mother starts saying, oh, Fran has been on all these dates. She did go to Zumba the next day, and she did tell the whole room she was buying the hat for the wedding, for sure. You all right, Fran? You're looking a bit nervous. A bit nervous, yeah. Yeah, you'll be OK. I do like my countrymen. I love a man in tweed. A man in tweed is all you need. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Meet you. How are you? What's your uh, name? I'm Will. Will. You nice are? to meet you. I'm Fran. Fran. Good to meet you, Fran. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Hi. I would love a Prosecco. Prosecco. Please. Thank you very much. Excellent. Uh, yeah. So what do you do? What, um, I'm in sales, which is awfully boring. <laughs> How about yourself? I'm a personal assistant. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's a nice atmosphere in here. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Uh, I like it. When I talk to a girl who I find attractive and think, oh, a little bit of this, then um, I just don't know what to say. Completely clueless. Um, so what was I going to say? Uh, they don't teach you this sort of crap in school, unfortunately. They teach you useless stuff that you don't need. I don't care what pie is. So have you, um, any hobbies? Do you know what I don't know? No idea. I can't say cooking because I'm so crap. Um, if I was to do anything for myself, it would probably <laughs> just be a fish cake. Yeah, I've got fish cakes for tomorrow night, actually. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, what yeah. about you? Hobbies. I love the countryside. And I love people who love the countryside too. I'm, a, I'm definitely a country girl at heart. Yeah. Definitely. Runt steak peppercorn sauce for you. Oh, lovely. Thank you, you very, very yeah. much. Fish and chips for you, sir. Cheers, chat. Yeah. Mushy peas and tartar sauce. Thank you very much. Spinach is just on its way. Perfect. Thank you. Right, let's crack on with this. Yeah, that is an enormous piece of meat. It is. <laughs> oh, blimey. So, what have you been like in the past relationships? Have you had any? Um, <laughs> well, we're getting to it now, aren't we? Um, I've, do you know, I've never been in a serious relationship. It just hasn't, it just hasn't happened. What about you? <coughs> I'm very much the same. I've, um, I think my longest one was about six months. Oh. And that was during school, actually, so I don't, I don't really even think you can count them. But then, obviously, I'd... I see all my mates with their girls and I think, God, I want that. I want to be able to go to do things. like go for walks and what else do couples do? Uh, yeah, exactly. Go to, like, what do they go do? to museums or things. I'm not always boring. <laughs> You're not boring at all, don't worry. 
How's it going? She's a really nice girl. Oh, you like her? Yeah, she's really nice. Uh -huh. Does she know that you like her? Well, no, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have thought so. I'm not very good at sort of selling off my feelings or emotions. <laughs> it's against my grain. Oh, really? Yeah, which is why I don't have a girlfriend, because I can't tell them. My parents split up when I was young, so I spent a lot of time around my grandparents. And in my family, emotions aren't really talked about all that much. With the grandparents especially, because, yeah, they're older generation and you don't really talk about these things. You just hide them. But I'm, I'm terrible at like, flirting and all those sort of things. No, it's not a question of flirting. Just tell her, I, I really like you. I think that you are fantastic. I like your hair. You got a beautiful smile. Now you're a Frenchman, so I trust you. But what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Good luck. Cheers, chap. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> um... No, I've genuinely enjoyed this so far. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, I like your style, too. It's interesting. It's good. My style, yeah. thing. But it works. A little scarf, nice brown thing. Brown thing. Is it, it's not a cardigan. It's not a cardigan. Is it like it's, a... It's, um... Um, poncho? It's not a poncho. It's sort of like a poncho. <laughs> Let's go with that. It's sort of like a poncho. <laughs> what would you rate yourself out of ten? Maybe a five. Or something, probably. I'm a bit of a plain Jane. There's nothing really, nothing really special in my looks. You're a bit trendy. I'm not really trendy, but you I... are very trendy. <laughs> very nice jacket. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I do love tweed. Oh, good. I've never been called pretty. I've never been called beautiful. Throughout my life, that's never. I've never had any compliments like that. So I think that's why I'm. I am the way I am. I've really enjoyed this. I think you're very nice. Oh, thank you very much. That's nice to hear. So, I think I'll stop. Yes, yes. I had a lovely day and I would like to see you again. Well, yes, ditto, ditto. It was lovely to meet you. Excellent. Yes. What? Ten months on, they're back to tell their tale. How are you? So nice to see you guys. Wearing tweed? He is still wearing, he's still so not you. bad in tweed. The best thing is obviously that he wears tweed. I'm incredibly lucky. Even though he drives me up the wall and round the bend, I can't tell you. I cannot tell you. But yeah, I, I do love him. It's incredible. You come here and then your life changed. Found the perfect girl, so thank you very much for setting it all up yes. for us. Your advice is very good, Fred. <laughs> How's it going? She's a really nice girl. Does she know that you like her? Well, no, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have thought so. I'm not very good at sort of selling off my feelings or emotions. Just tell her, I, I really like you. I think that you are fantastic. Yeah. I was pretty much completely clueless beforehand. I think that is completely fair to say. Yeah, I like your style too. It's interesting. It's good. Is it, it's not a cardigan. It's not a cardigan. Is it like it's, a um, um, poncho? It's not a poncho. It was not a poncho. A poncho has no arms, has no... It, mine was an arm. It had an arm. I put my hand through the... It wasn't... It's not a poncho. Considering when we first met, we never had a girlfriend or boyfriend before, and now we're talking about moving in together. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's genuinely it is, just amazing. Yeah, it's the best thing in the world. I do wash his knickers and his socks. Pants. And his... Socks. <laughs> Don't do think... That's, I call them knickers. I don't think they're pants at all. They are pants. <laughs> Cheers, my love. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. This is my first relationship, and hopefully the last we'll see, because I've found everything that I could possibly have wanted in a girl. Oh. Well, I can't wait for the next sort of 50, 60 years. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.